It's coming up to 20 to 9 now. They're on-off relationships, the bust-ups. They're the stuff of rock and roll legends. But it was the music which made Fleetwood Mac one of the most successful bands of all time. Christine McVie was with the group for three decades but stepped out of the limelight for 16 years. Now she's back with bandmate Lindsay Buckingham and new music, of course. There's even talk of a world tour. Before we speak to her, let's listen to a song from her album. Uh, delighted to say Christine is with us now. Very good morning. Good morning. To you. Good morning. You know, you were just glancing over our shoulder there at that picture behind us. Mm -hmm. Can you put a date on that? Can you? Do you, do you know approximately when that was? I think it was sometime in the eighties, but I, I wouldn't uh, bet on it. Because it, those people who know the band well know that quite a few changes in the lineup uh -huh. over the years. Yes, over the years, because Lindsay left for about three years, and, and we replaced him with uh, Billy Burnett and Rick Vito and carried on for a while. And I think it was ultimately the, the inauguration of Bill Clinton that brought us all back together because they wanted to use Don't Stop as their campaign song. And so we went on, performed it live at the inaugural ball, and we thought, this is pretty good, let's get cracking again. So it was five of us got back together. When we introduced um, the music, we were saying that there were some bust-ups, there were, there were some tussles, the stuff of legend almost. Mm -hmm. Are you all friends now? I, I can safely say we are. I think that we've all grown up, you know, and, and uh, realised that we have a great bond and a great legacy. And so we, uh, we've reaffirmed our, our vows. You know. Christine, what I'm going to ask you to do is you've got an absolutely beautiful necklace on there. I'm, we're told it's just knocking into your microphone a little bit. Can you adjust it slightly for us? We have the, to do the these things one. live because oh, okay. it's the bigger, the bigger one, the bigger. It's the other one. That's it's a it. shame to move it, but if we just, just so it's just knocking into your microphone, we have to do these just things. Toss it behind my back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we, we, we'll get onto the new album in, in in a moment. Is that all right? Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah, well, how's that? There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Thank Perfect. you. Um, yeah, we'll get on to the new album in just a moment. Just for, for those people who, who are fascinated by your personal story mm. that we mentioned a moment ago, you stepped aside from the music world for 16 years. Yes. Yeah, which did. is one of the... I mean, people... When things like that happen, a kind of mythology builds around people, mm. and I think that's happened to a degree uh, with you. Oh, well, no. I mean, what's the real story? to know what I, want, what I did yes. for a start. Um, what happened with me? Well... I left the band initially because I developed a fear of flying. There was a number of things. I was tired of living out of a suitcase. Um, my dad got sick and I was living in America, so I thought, well, you know, it's time for me to move back to England. Um, and that's what I did. I, I bought a house in England and still carried on playing with Fleetwood Mac and said, this will be my last tour and I'm going to move to Kent, which is what I did and got this huge, great big manor house, which was falling apart and I spent happily four years restoring it. Um, and then, you know, four years later, I'm going, I bought a couple of dogs. And um, I thought, OK, what am I going to do now? Once um, that's lifestyle is in your blood, does it ever leave? Well, no, because I, now that I've come back, it's been the most joyous thing I've ever done in my life. And I'm just embracing every moment. I love it. And the new album, of course, you have actually brought pretty much everyone back together, in, mm. in some sense, in the studio. Just how, How's that come about? Well, you have to go back when I first joined, when I first rejoined, I was sending Lindsay demos over of some material I'd written and he was working in his studio. And uh, a whole world tour had been booked, so I went over early to Los Angeles and worked with Lindsay a little bit on these songs that I'd written. And he said, why don't we go in the studio? And, you know, reconnect in that way as well as touring and just see if we have any, any magic between us. Because after 16 years, you know, it might have been nothing there. But we got in the studio working together and it was easy. It was, it was a real joy. And uh, it was just the most fantastic time. We clicked really well. You know, as soon as you hear it, you know that's Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, I'm always wearing it. You know, that, putting that, ourselves that in sound. the role of viewing a music yeah. critic. But there's something about that, that sound that instantly makes you think of Fleetwood Mac. Well, I, I suppose it does, because you've got John playing bass, Mick playing drums, uh, and Lindsay and I collaborating in the musical department. And so it has to sound a little bit. 
You know, Ellie, I asked you if it ever leaves that rock and roll lifestyle, or that music lifestyle, if it ever leaves your blood, and you said no. However lovely a break you may take from it, there are rumours that we might be seeing you on tour. Can you tell us a little bit about I, that? What, Buckingham McVie or Fleetwood Mac? You tell us. Uh, well, both. Certainly, I'm just going back to Atlanta, in fact, on Saturday to start a, a, a small tour with Lindsay, uh, doing, just doing America. And um, next year, all being well, fingers crossed, we're, we're doing a Fleetwood Mac tour. When you reflect a bit now, and as, as you all get older, you reflect possibly a little bit on things that happened in the past. How do you reflect on, on the early days of Fleetwood Mac and the incredible success? Because it, it was an incredibly successful band for a, over a long period mm. of time. How do you reflect now on that time? You know, there's such a lot to reflect about. If you put good stuff out... It looks after you. come back to you. Yeah. Well, it's been lovely having you this morning, and there'll be so many people so happy to hear that uh, both you in the in the the, uh, the new incarnation, but also as for your Mac, will be doing um, more live stuff. So oh, we're we're more in love with each other than ever. <laughs> we can't wait. Uh, it's really good to hear. Thank you so much for coming here for us today. Thank you Thank very you. much indeed. The album is simply called Lindsay Buckingham and Christy McVie.